Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo is full of secret levels, hidden paths, one-ups galore, and lots of cool tricks that bring you pretty much unlimited replay value. The game was released in 1990 in Japan, 1991 in the US, and 1992 in Europe. It also had a release on the Game Boy Advance in the early 2000s. It was recently released on the Nintendo Switch for Nintendo Switch Online members on September 5th, 2019. On my last video for Super Mario World, in which the link can be found in the description or here on the screen, you guys brought up several ideas and cool tidbits about the game. So I decided to make a list that engulfs most of what you guys have mentioned and a lot that you didn't. So sit back and relax and enjoy part one of my Super Mario World secrets, tips, and tricks. All right, we're gonna start off the secrets, tips, and tricks video with how to get one-ups. And Super Mario World introduced a green block with a white star. Uh, there's not a whole lot of them in the game. I know there's some in Yoshi's Island 3, which we are currently in, Donut Plains 3, and Butter Bridge 1. There might be a few other levels that have them, but the green blocks really aren't that big of a deal. But since it is a way to get a one-up, we are going to go ahead and go over it. There are stipulations on how to get the one-up out of the box. The conditions are, from the time you enter the level to the time you hit the green block, you must have collected 30 coins or more. And if you do not collect 30 coins or more, it simply will just give you a regular coin. But once you do it, then it will give you a one-up. Dragon coins do count as uh, coins, so you can see I'm collecting dragon coins and what really whatever coin I can get here. Because this level is not doesn't have a whole lot of coins in it. So I was just kind of making sure I collected enough, collected every coin that I saw so I can have enough. Actually, I ended up collecting a little bit over 30 coins, but as you'll see here in just a moment, we will be getting our one-up out of the box. Now, there are lots of ways in Super Mario World to get one-ups. This should never be your primary way because one, it'll just take forever, and two, it's more of like a little bonus at the end of the level just so that you can, I guess, just have a one-up. So let's go ahead and see what other ways you can get one-ups in Super Mario World. The next one-up tip is going to be in Donut Secret 2. This one is a little bit trickier because it does involve an invincibility star and you have to have it for so long to make another one appear. So at the top of this vine here, we're going to grab a star and uh, we have to make it last all the way into a certain point in the level. Now. To do this though, you have to make sure your jumping is precise, that you aren't hitting any walls, you aren't hit, getting stuck on pipes, anything like that, because otherwise it will run out. And if you get to this yellow block, before your star invincibility runs out, you'll actually get another star, as seen here. If not, then it'll just be a coin. And then you just go on this rampage of killing all these Koopa Troopas, and you get a bunch of 1-ups. I used to use this one quite often when I was younger until I found out better ways to get 1-ups and we will explore those next. Alright, so the next tip actually involves the top secret area. This is going to include not only infinite lives, but also infinite points if you're into the whole point system. It requires one feather and one fire flower as you'll see here. And what you're going to do is you're going to jump up to the box and just mash the select button over and over again. Every time you do this, it will give you 1,000 points. As you see, we have 61,000, and we just went to 67,000. Now, I did speed that up a little bit to progress that, but you can just keep doing that basically forever. But once you have a Yoshi and you go in here and you hit the middle block, it will always give you a 1-up every single time. So we abused this quite a bit when I was a kid because this was the quickest way to get 1-ups, just entering and exiting. Alright, so now the next secret takes place in Donut Plains 4. Now this one combined with the one that's going to be after this clip aren't really that big of a deal. Uh, it's basically... Super Mario World introduced what was called a moon and it's a 3-up and Donut Plains 4 has a pretty easy one to access and then we're also going to run into one in Vanilla Dome 3 in the next clip. So here basically if you at the halfway point if you fly up into the sky and just kind of parachute your way over there's one right there and then you can actually just jump off the edge and glide down right to the exit. Pretty easy level overall. And then the next level, I'm going to show you another one. And then there's several levels that have moons in them, but we're not going to go over all of them today. 
Alright, so this clip ties in with the last clip. It takes place in Vanilla Dome 3. I'll be showing you where a 3-up moon is located in this level. This level has a unique monster in it called the Blarg. And it's these fiery looking dragons that are jumping out of the lava here. And typically you just jump over them. Yoshi jumping on them doesn't do anything. However, there is a way to destroy them. It does require a SNES control that has the L and R buttons at the top. And you'll stand here, you'll press the R button to scroll the screen to the right. And this allows Mario to not actually be in the center of the screen. And you can stand on the back part of this platform. And when one jumps out, use Yoshi's tongue to catch it and swallow it. Have a nice little fiery treat. Now, of course, I missed two of them, but you get the point. You can swallow them. So when you get to this piece of land right here, you can fly up to the left and there's actually a hidden three up here. And then if you go onto the other side of these pipes over here, there's actually another secret. I tried to fly over that and realized that there is a block there, but there's another secret right here at the top and not as exciting as a three up moon, but it is a little bonus area that has like the guessing game where you put the three blocks in the correct order and you get one up. So there are more one ups that you can get if you can correctly guess. So, all right, off to the next uh, area to get some one ups. All right, we are now at the final granddaddy of them all for the one ups in Vanilla Secret 2. Come into this level with a cape. You Once you find out how to get one ups in this level, you will never go and get one ups anywhere else because literally you can max out at 99 lives after two goes and it's nice and quick so you're gonna float all the way to the halfway point of this level make sure you don't kill any of the enemies in the first half of the level and uh except for the two at the very very beginning those don't really matter but here where the little spikies are there is a gray p-switch now if you're not familiar with what this does the gray P switch actually turns all enemies into coins. And if you collect enough of these coins, they start giving you one up. And it starts with one up, and then it goes to a two up, and then they start turning into three ups. So right here, you're gonna wanna hit the P switch and just watch the magic happen. And that is how you get one-ups, folks. Like I said, once you have this all mastered down to be able to do it really quick, you'll never go anywhere else to get more one-ups. It's so easy, it's so fast, and uh, yeah, so that concludes our one-up section. Now let's get moving to our next section, Castle Secrets. All right, so we're gonna start our adventures off in Morton's Castle. Just so you know, you can re-enter castles and fortresses that you've already beaten by pressing the L and the R button at the same time. So you're going to come into this level with a cape. Now this is a really pointless secret because it's actually a little difficult to pull off, but you have to get enough running speed right here to fly up at the beginning to get into this pipe. Nothing really special in this pipe, just another one of those guessing games where you can get one ups and it does allow you to skip one room in the castle and it takes you to the final room right before morton uh the castle consists of three rooms and it takes you from room one to room three all right the next castle secret takes place in castle number four ludwig's castle this one here is kind of a pointless secret i mean if you're really hard up for some some one ups uh, this is one of those guessing games where you guess the right blocks in the correct order to get one ups So in the first room all the way at the end where this door is instead of going in the door go through this block And it'll take you up to this pipe. This doesn't take you anywhere special Unlike uh, Morton's castle where it takes you past the second room This one takes you straight to the second room really you're actually wasting time by going into that secret all right, now onto the Forest Fortress, probably the number one requested secret in my last video. A lot of people were saying I missed this secret exit in this level. However, a secret exit in uh, Super Mario World is actually an exit that leads to somewhere else other than what the normal exit would lead to. So in this case though, this is just an alternate exit. 
because even though it is another exit, but it leads to the exact same place. It leads to the Resnors at the end of the level, which in turn lead to Star Road. So this is just a fun little, I guess, show your skills of flying off because um, the end result is, I'll go ahead and spoil it for you, is nine one ups. And after seeing what Vanilla Secret 2 can give us, there's really no reason to try to get the nine one ups in this level unless you're just wanting to show off to your friends but you want to get to the second part of the level at the end being super mario preferably with a cape however even if you do get hit uh, like i do here in just a second you um there is another block up here as long as you are super mario this block here will give you a cape now i'll show you here where the Resnor door is, the one that probably 99% of the people are gonna go in. That one right there. And, uh, but you can go up and over and there is a pit of lava. Now, I actually did a save state because it took me probably about five tries to get across this. So to me, it wasn't really worth it. If you can get it in the first go, great. But you have to be able to parachute fly all the way over. And there's all these little yellow blocks that have bunch of one-ups in them for you like I said it's a cool secret uh, shows that you can I guess parachute fly really well but not really worth it because like I said I spent about five lives just trying to get over here so yeah there you go guys all right so our next castle secret is actually in castle number five Roy's castle however it's not really a secret as much as it is a tip so, if you remember, the uh, L and R buttons that the Super Nintendo controller was equipped with, it allows you to scroll the screen to the right or the left. And we did this in Vanilla Dome 3 with the blogs so we could eat them. Well, we're also going to be doing it here in Roy's Castle. This uh, moving platform is really annoying and there's fireballs that get in the way, but a little bit here in just, just a few seconds we're going to see some falling spikes. And they can fall on you right when you're on the platform. However, if you scroll the screen to the right, it will allow the spikes to actually fall before you ever even get there. As you can see, there's one almost right off screen that fell. And we're going to see another one. Oh, there goes another one. And this way, you don't even have to deal with them as you're going through this. You just have to make sure that you can stay on the, uh, on the platform. But yeah, cool little tip. And on to our final castle secret in Larry's castle. I'm actually going to go ahead and fast forward to where we need to be because this is one really long platform ride. And right here, instead of going in the door, which most people would do rather than going down this hole, but if you go down this hole, you can get a very much needed halfway point where that way you don't have to ride that long ride ever again. All right, guys, and that wraps up part one of my Super Mario World secrets, tips, and tricks. Part two will be out shortly here in a few days, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You guys really did make this video a reality because I got a lot of feedback, a lot of love from my last video, and it really pushed me to want to make this video for you guys. So keep it coming. I really do love and appreciate you all. I'll catch you in part two.